some years ago I was at a little Austrian village called Yenbach and our hotel was right at the top of the village and as we went to the hotel there was a little bridge running underneath it there was a, a little river probably about three meters wide and about a meter deep and it was tumbling down the hill and I thought to myself if I owned this place I'd have a turbine going in that to generate some power well it was better than that the Austrians were ahead of us they got three on the way down through the village and they looked like little houses uh, you, could, you had to look twice before you realized there were actually generators uh, turning away there putting power onto the local grid so that was all well and good now in the UK things aren't quite so rosy are they the only decent hydroelectric scheme south of the Scottish border is the one at Morwell and Quay which is on the border between uh, Devon and Cornwall uh, otherwise there's a Dinorwick uh, one in Wales but of course that's a pump storage scheme though that's not really a full hydro that's a pump storage it's a bit different so we've only got the one down here uh, of any size but there's lots of places where you could put micro generation in there's a consortium of 11 mill owners got together in Somerset and they have put together this idea of converting the mill house of which they live in which the leets and all the rest of it are still there uh, to put turbines in generate power and put it on the national grid and that's what they're doing now what are we doing in Essex not very much by the look of it we've got the Blackwater Canal here with uh, the water going down all the time of course we seem to be quite happy to put uh, solar panels covering acres of uh, perfectly good uh, agricultural land that seems to be all right we put wind generators in that seems to be all right but we've got water running away here to waste and it's been doing it for years there's absolutely no reason why we can't put some little generators in coming down from Chelmsford down to Maldon there's a prime example of it where we could do this at Sanf Sanford Mill which had before the council took it over in 1923 uh, two armfield turbines which could generate about 70 horsepower. Now 70 horsepower is the same amount of oomph you get out of uh, one of those big uh, traction engines that the fair fairground people used to use. But of course today you have to feed coal and water. With a, t with, with a hydro turbine of course you get your power basically for free. Now 70 horsepower is about 52 kilowatt uh, units an hour, 52 kilowatts an hour. Uh, 24 hours it's 1,253, 8,772 per week, <laughs> 2.631 megawatt hours per month, need I go on, and there, are, there were seven mill sites going down from Chelmsford to Malden, and so you can multiply that by seven, so why aren't we doing this? We could have done it at, uh, there were seven mills, there was Barn, Sandham, Baddow, Paper Mill, Home Mill, Alting, Beely, and Haybridge okay so the Essex Water Company are taking four and a half million gallons out of the river down uh, down at Alting uh, that would drop the flow a little bit of course but whilst we're happy to put uh, solar panels on fields and all the rest of it solar panels don't work too well at night uh, the wind generators don't work too well when the winds not blowing but I haven't noticed anybody turning the rivers off at night they seem to be going all the time okay you might say well of course we get droughts we get periods of low flow of the water yes of course you do but that tends to be in the summer when we don't actually need quite so much power now the 1888 turbines that were in <coughs> Sanford Mill uh, they were mechanical governors on those but nowadays you do it with electronic governors and as the river flow increases the generator pushes harder against the, low, the load and as the river drops then obviously so the power from the generator drops and they can shut off altogether at a period of low water so they're not actually damaging the river in any way. Now the Sanford Mill was bought by the Chelsea County in 1953 for waterworks and so of course we lost the turbines at that point. When the canal behind me here was, or the river behind me here was canalised in the late uh, 1780s, 1790s by John Rennie, uh, of course some of the mills lost their water a little bit because uh, of the locks being used up and down the canal. Well nowadays of course the canal no longer works as a commercial proposition. The last load of timber went up here in 1975 and they stopped using the barge at that time they had to because uh, the great god metrication came along and the parcels of timber no longer fit in the barge so that was the end of the commercial operations here and after that they started having the leisure craft on the water well of course leisure craft tend to get used at weekends 
uh, but we're not going to have uh, continuous use of the locks up and down so the water flow is not going to be uh, changed that much. I did mention the 11 mills that are in uh, Somerset which are being changed over to turbine they reckon there are about 20,000 sites in the whole of the UK that could be used for power generation and yet we're quite happily putting in a nuclear power station at Hinkley Point. One wonders why. It doesn't seem to be sensible, does it? As a matter of interest, before this uh, canal went in, all the coal that used to go into Shelton was hauled by wagons over the top of Danby Hill, which can't have been too much fun if you imagine what the roads were like at that time. It used to take forever to do it. Uh, of course the canal went in and uh, life became a lot easier. The Saxons were paid off years ago, they had to pay them for the, putting the, uh, the water leaks in. And let's face it, the power comes from the sky, it's water. We always get quite a lot of that. Although of course you're going to have people that say, what about droughts? Well, yes you get the odd drought now and again, don't you? It does happen. We had one a few years ago. And people at that point were talking about putting in uh, a, a water grid from Scotland. So, what's the problem? Why aren't we putting generators into this river or any of the other rivers come to this? This is John Rhodes with CRH News at Paper Mill Lock.